Well, welcome to this uh, another Business Blessings update. Today we have a, a great privilege to have Stephen De Silva on the line. He's the CFO of Bethel Church in Reading. Steve, it's so great to have you with us. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. So, Steve, you're making your first trip to Australia next week. Uh, you're here for two things. You've got our Prosperous Soul Business Breakfast and Workshop, and then you're doing a Prosperous Soul Seminar. Steve, what's really on your heart for both these events that you'll be speaking at next week? Oh, well, the the thing that is a passion that burns in me is the idea of an adopted son in the kingdom being turned loose, breaking free of, of constraints and paradigms and mindsets that have held us back. Whether we're in business or we're managing just our private lives or our home finances, Money exaggerates these things inside. So uh, I'm so excited to come to Australia and and teach into this idea, which I think is going to propel the church. And whether really whether they're uh, in the church or they're working in the marketplace, I think we're about to to set a new shift into the atmosphere for some of these believers who are working and. Uh, in ministry or in business, we're going to set them in a new in a new tact to just completely accomplish what God has set in their hearts to do. Amen. That's that's so exciting and so uh, what we need here in Australia, <laughs> Steve. I was just saying before, you know, Australia has one of the highest personal debt levels in the world. Um, you know, we're seeing our economy slow down a bit. Uh, but it, this is not just uh, a physical, material management issue. There's spiritual issues involved here as well, isn't there? Yeah, this is uh, the issues around money are very much not about money. I mean, money has an effect on our lives. We all have to use it. We use it both coming in and going out. It displays the things that we believe in. But this is the thing: we can do some shifts. In, internally and in cooperation with the kingdom of heaven. We can bring a kingdom of heaven on, on earth as it is in heaven. We can demonstrate that in our surroundings, both in our homes and in our businesses and in our churches. And uh, this, is a, this is a very exciting time. I love uh, the, the challenge that, that you're describing because debt is a symptom and it's not a curse that is permanent. It's not hidebound to us. We can uh, rule money and use it as a slave to to the, the assignment that God God has given us, rather than allow it to master us. And this is what we're going to do. Excellent. So, Steve, someone's been putting off booking in to either the breakfast or or the weekend seminar. What would you say to them? What well, What's the message from your heart to them? Yeah, my, my thought to, to those people who are wondering, um, I am, I'm a business professional. I don't come at this heavily churchy. I come at it practical. This is a, this is a shifting event that will move people from one place to the next. It's going to, we're going to tackle some, some real deep dynamics that will reach into a person's heart and change a paradigm, the way people are thinking. And we're going to go after circumstances that are outside of ourselves. And, and we're going to confront those things and do some shifts as well. I would highly recommend people come. It is a life-changing event. I'm very excited. Well, thank you so much, Steve. We look forward to uh, seeing you here uh, in Brisbane next weekend. And have a safe trip. And may God continue to uh, speak to you powerfully between now and then as well. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I can't wait to get there. God bless you guys.